जय हिंद एवरीवन वेलकम अगेन टू द पेट्रोटिक आइजर्स लेट्स स्टार्ट आवर आईएस पीसेस वाला डेली करंट अफेयर्स हियर वी विल हैव द नियर अबाउट सेवन टॉपिक दैट वी विल गो बाय वन बाय वन फ्रॉम वन टॉपिक टू द अदर टॉपिक मोस्टली टू डेज टॉपिक आर फ्रॉम द प्रीलिम्स पर्सपेक्टिव फ्यू ऑफ द एरिया दैट इज वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द एनवायरमेंट लाइक द मेंस पर्सपेक्टिव सच एज द topic that is the related to the gender and environment this is you and also there is the topic such as the gross mismanagement on the drug drug uh, shortage on the tubal crosses so they these are the area where the main specific are but the there are the mainly topics such as the gudi padwa all the uga ugadi this hicks boson all these are associated with the prelims area so they are these ugadi and the gudi padwa this is from the art and culture and hicks boson basic science science and technology then we will study this climate crisis is not gender neutral this is very important here we will do a practice answer writing for the means and we will see that how the impact on the climate change that is going to impact the gender particularly the women and the children in a very disproportionate manner then we will study a distinct right on climate change and species protection here it is particularly with respect to the recent supreme court judgment on the mc mehta case where it was brought that the any of the impact due to the climate change will be under article 21 will be under the fundamental rights okay then we will also study the gross mismanagement in the case of the tb to uh, uh, tuber clauses program that we are running that is the national tuber clauses elimination pro program so here we see that the, this program is negatively impacted and being criticized due to the lack of the medicine that is required to eliminate it by the 2025 so again it will be for the mens specific then we will study the corridor of the kolkata bypass here the a case of urbanism that is very much similar that we already have discussed the issue with the urbanization and what are the solution here we will see the kolkata specific case and how there has been the socio economic divide has been created to do, uh, in the search of the solution for the congestion into the kolkata and other issue again it will be for the mens specific and gs paper one urbanization and the social issue so these are all about from the today's newspaper let's start from the front page the front page that has the mainly most of the news that are from the perspective of the most of the news are on the perspective of political and not that much relevant for the upsc few of the area that is important for the upsc like the gudi padwa and this uh, the death sad demise of the scientist peter hicks on name of that on uh, his contribution we brought the god particle that is also known as the hicks boson so we will know the basics about the hicks boson so, so let's start with the front page the front page talking about the maha vikas agadi seals the poll packed into the maharashtra so here we see that the three parties that are part of this mahagadi the shiv sena under the leadership of the uddhav thakre and uh, this ncp under the sarat pawar and also the congress that has been sowed the seeds for into the maharashtra so we see that there has been the 10 seats that has been offered for the ncp sarat pawar and maximum seat will be contested by the shiv sena udav thakre 21 and then the congress got 17 seats many of many of here criticizing the congress that it is weaning out its weakening its position into the uh, into the maharashtra because its strong hold such as the sangali and the bhiwandi it was given to the uh, it uh, given to the shiv sena so these are the issues that has been there already uh, the important news that we will cover is the gudi padwa so what is the gudi padwa let's see that it's basic this is associated with the new uh, first days of the new year and the hindu new uh, year that is being celebrated into the april month the chatra month that is considered as the different uh, uh, it is considered as the new year as per the luni solar hindu calendar so what is the luni solar so it's include the period the revolution the rotation revolution period of the 
sun as well as the moon. Luni means moon and solar means sun. So it's based on the re revolving period of the moon as well as sun. Where it is celebrated, mostly it is in the Maharashtra, but also into the part of Goa and the Karnataka and Andhra Pradesh, Telangana. So all these areas that uh, that has been uh, 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 that celebrate this. Okay, what is the main symbol? Symbolize its. There is the a uh, cloth, bright cl cloth that is hoisted on a bamboo. So this is the main thing, and it is celebrated into the month of Chaitra. That is between March and April. Already it is going on. This is the season. Okay. What is the myth? Particularly, it's associated with the legend including the Lord Brahma created the universe on the this day and Lord Lama victorious returned to the Ayodhya, defeating the Ravana. These are the things that is mainly uh, celebrated. What are the done? What are the things that is done? Rangoli, traditional attire, special food, and procession. This is all thing is the part of this. What is the special food? The Puran Poli. That the that is the sweet flat bread so it is a type of the chapati that is the sweetened and the srikhand that is the sweetened yogurt that is main food for the, this special occasion the next news that we will cover is the again from the first page this is the peter hicks who proposed the god particle dye so why this is known as the god particle because this gives the concept that where the mass comes into the different particle, fundamental particle. Till now we were thinking that where the mass is coming, we have everything. The, there was the Big Bang and after that there was the creation of the universe, all the universe comes out of that. But mass, from the where the mass comes, so it's explained that due to the Big Bang there was the creation of the uh, the Higgs boson and the Higgs field and under that when the particle interact with this field they, uh, they, uh, they receive, they get the mass and those who do not interact, do, uh, these particles or the, these elements don't have the mass. For example, the light doesn't have the mass. Okay, So here it is the Higgs boson that explains the standard model of the particle physics and that's why he was given the Nobel Prize as well. This comes out of the experiment, LSC experiment that was into the Geneva and it was mainly discovered into the 2012, 2012. Okay, so Higgs field gives the, the clue that from where the mass comes into the particle and who those, those particles who interact with the Higgs field get the mass and those who do not interact with the, these Higgs field, they don't have the mass. For example, the light doesn't have the mass and that's why it is known as the God particle because it gives explanation that where and from how the mass to the particle comes. Okay, so this is all about from the, this news. You should know the fundamental in the prelims. There could be the question on this area. Okay. On the front page, the other news again, this is repeating news, the bail for the KJ Diwal is denied, Chief Minister of the Daily. Now he's de denied and there has been the uh, one of the reference from the election commission to the central board of the direct taxes about the affidavit submitted by the uh, union minister Rajiv Chandrasekhar. So this is all about from the front page. Next important news, we will see that again from the, this picture, Ugadi celebration. So what is this Ugadi celebration? So we will know the basics about that. Again, this is the New Year celebration and this is into the Deccan region, particularly into the area of the Andhra Pradesh, Telangana and the Karnataka. And here the Ugadi, it means that Yug means age and Adim is beginning. So this is the beginning of the New Year. Again, this is, this is celebrated on the first day of the Chaitraman, that is the fall between the March and April and this is considered as the Luni solar calendar. This is based on the Hindu Luni solar calendar. Again, it is in its count the revolution period of the moon as well as the sun. So here, uh, the main thing about that there is the this, uh, the, the disc of the Yugadi known as the Pachadi. So Yugadi Pachadi, that is the a dish that includes the six different type of the flavor. It includes the sweet, sour, salt, bitter, tangy, and astringent. All type of the flavor that included in this. So you should know all about this. Next important news that we are going to cover is from the editorial. This is the climate cri crisis is not gender neutral. This is talking about the how the climate 
change the climate negative impact is more on those who are women and those girls this is not same the climate impact climate change impact is not same for the men or the women and the different class as well it is impacting very differently for the those who are from the upper class who are economically strong as compared to the those who are economically weaker so this article is talking about all about this how it is impacting the women in a very severe manner as compared to the men and upper class okay mainly it is starting with the a data from the united nation development program and this talks about that women and children they are getting impacted 15 times 14 times more than men and it is the death that is due to the this change in the climate this is causing to the men this is 40 times more for the women and children so you should be this is the comparative analysis of the climate change on the men women children and different class and the caste okay here you should know that what is the basics about the united nation development program this comes under the united nation it is a specialized agency under the united nation and the main focus area is to eradicate poverty bring the this disaster resilience building and also bring the reduction into the inequality so overall it has egalitarian perspective and that want to achieve the sustainable development goal so you should know first thing about this the three proper the three focus area the first again sustainable development the second democratic governance and peace building so it's help different nations who are into the war conflict such as the its work into the african countries so that the governance can be improved more democratic and more devolution of power should reach to the grassroots level so this is the main area under the democratic governance and the peace building okay climate and disaster resilience infrastructure creation because the climate resilience infrastructure is very much what is mean by the climate resilience and disaster resilience for example now the number of the flood is increasing so if a building if a a colony is very close to the a river where the flood is coming again and again so building structure should be like that that whenever the flood is coming so building can sustain it shouldn't be impacted by the flood and it should be in a such a manner that if there is the severe condition even it can sustain the its negative impact for example if there is the cyclone frequently a cyclone is coming into the some of the coastal area so there is the proper infrastructure that whenever the cyclone warning is coming all the uh, all the man omen and animals even they should have been the proper sheltering facility all the population of the area and the, even the animal population because it impact the animal as well animals or the a very much asset for the poor people who are who are based on this this is meant i mean uh, to the, uh, to mainly it is mainly it's defined the what is meant by the disaster resilience for example disaster resilience cropping and agriculture is possible for example wherever there is the drought prone area in that area we can go for the doge crop who that can sustain the severe drought condition for example the cereals such as the jowar bajra maize they can sustain a very severe condition as well they they need very less water even on the less fertile soil they can grow they can be productive so this is mean by the climate and disaster resilience okay how it operates mainly it's at the global networking and it's directly contact with the government of the different countries also it connect with the so, so uh, civil societies also the private sector it had the connection with the private sector as well so please be very careful that it doesn't only work with the government but the civil society and other areas also working with the 
EU and DP. Okay. Mainly, it's tried to strengthen the institution and also the individual into the developing countries where there is need for the resource and infrastructure. So please be very careful on this thing. The funding is coming to the UNDP from the its United Nations members. So this is these are the area that you should remember. Now this article is analyzing that what is the recent condition? We have seen that the recently, even the five days back on the 5th of the April, the Supreme Court brought a judgment under the MC Mehta case. MC Mehta is very important. There, uh, he is the environmentalist and he, he frequently go to the Supreme Court and High Court to bring the environmental uh, environmental friendly approach policy if there is any violation he go and he challenge those policy and such activity so mc mehta you should always remember there are a lot of cases that has been filed by the mc mehta and recent case is the mc mehta case versus the union of india and others it was 2024 and on the 5th of the july there was the verdict and the verdict said that under the fundamental rights, under Article 21, that is the right to life that include the healthy life as well. Okay, if there is the climate change that is going to negatively impact the overall health of the people, and if this is going to ha impact the health, and this is disproportionately impacting the poor people and vulnerable section, in that case, it will be the responsibility of the government to fulfill and provide the compensation. So. The any of the harm effect due to the climate change will be brought under the fundamental rights of the people. So this is very important judgment. The writers want to bring the attention toward the agriculture sector. Here we see that in agriculture, India is dominated by the agriculture sector. More than 50% of the population dependent of the agriculture. Near about more than 65% of the people living into the rural area and main the subsistence, uh, subsistence and the main foundation for the livelihood is the agriculture. In that case, even the women's role in this agriculture is very much. And whenever there is the drought condition, whenever there is the negative impact on the yield and the negative impact on the overall productivity, that is mostly going to impact the women. It has seen that whenever there is the drought condition in that particular area, the women's health is deteriorate, uh, deteriorating much worse manner. Okay, why? Because the as per the social norm, the women get the last into the food meal. When the, all the members of the family, they complete their food, their meal, after that, whatever left over is there, that goes to the women. Okay. Second thing that, if there will be a negative productivity, the negative productivity means less food for the family and the less food that is the last member that go for the meal is the women. Okay. So there is the lot of health insecurity and the food insecurity, nutritional insecurity has been found into the women. Okay. Beside that, if there is the, any of the negative impact on the, their, their productivity, the main member, they frustrate and they, they release their all frustration into the form of the violence against their women family member, female family member. That is the case and that's why the domestic violence also increases. Okay. We also have seen that this, this violence that has been most into the area, again, already I have seen, uh, uh, shown that, the drought-prone area where these type of the violence is very much high and it has been proved by the National Family Health, Health Survey 4 and 5 as well. Those districts where there has been the drought, there is the more violence. Okay, the second thing is that the girl children they are married at the lesser age to reduce the burden so as there is the more negative impact on the farming and agriculture much worse impact is on the women and the girls because the girl will be married before the uh, reaching the age of the 18 their child marriage will be there and uh, ultimately if there is a the child marriage in that case there is the again the adverse impact on the health maybe she could uh, See, she could be uh, uh, delivering the child at the early age as well. 
okay the pregnancy age reduces okay and the childbirth age also reduces and that case the child who born out of the weak mother and where the mother is suffering from the different health complication that is going to impact the child as well so overall nutritional and the health security is compromised okay further the writer is explaining the how there is the impact of the climate change here it has provided from the council of the energy and environment and water this is a ngo that is working into the asia mainly its base area is um, asia it's talk about that there has been the 75% of the indian district that are vulnerable to the disaster and this is the hydrometeorit disasters hydrometeorit means those disaster that are caused by the lack of the water or the high extreme water condition for example the drought flood and the cyclone all are influenced by the hydro okay hydro here means the h2o water okay so this council of energy and environment and the water ceew this is a ngo you should remember and it's mostly working into the area where to provide the access to the energy clean air water and the land okay it's provide the resource and also provide the advisory into the sustainability sector what are the sustainability sector like the energy environment water and other areas such as the urbanization and technological innovation sustainable finance all these area where it's work okay so as per this so the number of the district that is going to be impacted by the hydrometeorit disaster that is the 75% out of 100 district 75 are in the condition that they will face such situation okay so here again particularly it is talking about that whenever there is the such cases again it is talking about on the impact on the women the preterm birth and the other complication to the women also increases the other thing is that whenever there is the air pollution mostly air pollution that is going to impact whom the mother the women who walk into the kitchen and the mostly they inhale this air, their harmful air that is coming out of the their cooking fuel okay so again there is the lot of people lot of women lot of family is still using the biomass for their cooking okay and in that case a case there is the there is the health complication in area of the respiration and all also the cardiovascular disease mean the heart attack cases heart attack cases and cases such as the asthma and other such cases is increasing okay so what are the solution the solution is that you need to empower the women and if you will empower the women women know that if there is the any of the negative impact of the climate is going to take uh, occurring that is impacting the us and that's why they will be more careful take simple example if the water scarcity is there who will suffer more the women have to go for the fetch the water in the villages the fetching the water is the main responsibility of the women the collecting the fuel such as the wood for the their their cooking is also the responsibility of the women women have to go for the larger distance to collect the water and the wood and that's why they will be taking the decision that will not impact the environment and such thing that will make their situation worse and if they are going to fetch such waters for the longer distance they will have the very less time for the investing for their health and other other productive work okay you will see that wherever the women are walking into the field the productivity of the agriculture is more in that area okay so what we need we need to provide the women and women collective with the different resources such as the knowledge skill the training tools resources all this thing we need to provide the women and this should be at the focus point for the decision making okay so this will be adapt this will provide the more better adaptation as compared to the main oriented solution and here if you will provide this adaptation this adaptation also should be the tailored made means as per the different region there is the different need for example 
the condition of the heat wave or the the condition of the heat energy is much worse into the those area such as the Rajasthan as compared to the Himachal Pradesh. Are you getting that? Different region had the different need. For example, some of the area that is impacted by the drought in the same state, there is the area that are impacted by the flood condition. Take the example of the eastern UP. There is the lot of the flood condition in the same region into the Bundelkhand area of the UP, there is the lot of the drought condition. Are you getting the same state but the different region have the different need and that's why we need to provide the tailor-made solution and adaptation measure. Okay. Now the writer is further talking about the impact on the heat wave and the water shortage and it is talking that already we discussed that the the prolonged heat that is the impacting more to the vulnerable section such as the women, in the women, the uh, uh, pregnant women, the elderly, the children, okay, the infant, all they are work, uh, they are, they have the severe impact. So what is the long term and the short term solution? The short term solution should be like the, there should be the proper planning from the grassroots level such as the urban local bodies, municipal corporation and the district authority. They should have the proper planning before that this events, this such situation occurred. Okay. So measure to minimize the death that should include the heat wave warming. So if there is the proper warming, people will be cautious to going out of their home. They should go only when there is the need, otherwise they should remain into the, their home because beside that there need for the adjusting the outdoor work and the school timing the school timing could be either into the morning or the evening we can avoid the afternoon or the noon classes so this should be there the establishment of the cooling room into the health facility in the health facility and providing public drinking water wherever needed and immediate treatment for the heat stroke that should be provided on the regularly on the dis, uh, periodic distance on the wherever there is the high density. So these are the things that is needed and that action should be taken. Beside that there is need for the long term solution. Long term solution what could be the simple thing. If there is the high number of the trees, high number of the forest area, the temperature is always moderate. They moderate. The forest area is all, always a soothing point. Whenever there is the heat wave, the most important area where you can get the soothing point is the tree covered area. You can reduce the concretization of the city area and urban area. So it should be not always the concrete is not always solution. And we can also create the green blue space and design the heat resilient houses. For example, even the low income family and population can provide it with the solution. For example, we can suggest those people who are a low earning people because they cannot afford the AC or the cooler or any such thing. The sustainable solution could be that they should be guided that how they should paint their wall. For example, the white paint could be more reflective to the heat and that's why the heating will be less to the, if we will suggest and we will help them to paint their house roof into the white color okay and such actions for example see the writer has given itself uh, the example of her own research foundation she is the daughter of the ms swaminathan and she work into the ms swaminathan research foundation and one of the examples we provided that in the tamil nadu what they are doing they are mapping the area where the water resources are available they are also mapping the area where the water is discussed they are also identifying all these water resources and the connecting and uh, they are developing a local plan for the improved water access by using all this map okay and they are also converging our government scheme and resources to achieve the water sufficiency despite those area where the water scarcity is prevalent so what is the main thing they are mapping the water resources and also are identifying the vulnerabilities and where the area the water scarcity is there by that they are fulfilling they are filling the gap okay so this should be the solution they are also mobilizing the government scheme and resources so that the proper solution can be achieved okay 
now she has, she is talking about the working at the village level so she is talking about the most effective thing to register or the, uh, bring the solution at the, this level against the climate change and impact is that you have to work on the village level because here the village level the self help group and the member of different organization those who are working on the ground level they can achieve a better resilience model okay and here the community led and the participatory solution that is very important because without because this 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 impact or on the whole community whole region you cannot solve this individually you will start solving individually that situation is, uh, will become worse for example individually what you can do you can use the ac in that case there will be the more pollution are you getting now so participatory because the you can if you have to bring the forest area or the high green cover high plantation in that case you need community participation besides that she is criticizing the national and state action plan on the climate change there is already this plans but the thing is that ex despite this plans is recognizing that the women are the victim of the climate change but the thing is that the issue is that the irony is that they are still not providing the women as the central role for the decision making they just recognizing that the yes the women are the mostly they are impacted the impact is severe on the women but what about the empowering the need is that you should also empower the women this is the main focus area that the writer has concluded here all this his analysis her analysis okay let's bring a question and we have a main practice question we will solve this so let's write a answer approach assess the role of women in the climate action and their vulnerability to the climate related impacts as highlighted in the context of the climate crisis write it into the 150 words and it is for the 10 marks so here it is talking about the assess the role of women in climate action uh, climate action okay so here we have to bring the women at the central point into the climate action then we have to their vulnerability to climate related impact so you have to bring the where the climate change is impacting mostly the women okay so this will be the first part then you have to bring the climate action by the women and in the last you have to bring that the climate a uh, climate mitigation or the adaptation is not possible until and unless we are bringing the women at the focus point for the decision making as well as empowering the women so how you can start you can start just by the underscoring the complex relation between the women climate change and the climate action so you have to interlink with the example for example you can bring the example of the in the agriculture where ever there is the women and we give the women more role the productivity is high then you have to bring the white as all of the women into the climate action so this will be the interconnecting after that you have to bring the heightened vulnerability of the climate impact on the women okay and then you have to bring the recommendation and recommendation should be based on the equity and resilience that we have to achieve and in the last you have to again stress that the achieving climate justice is impossible without bringing the women at the central point okay so all this thing you can bring case study or the some of the example in the brief man for example this this article also talking about the whenever there is the loan the taken by the farmers and the, there is the drought the farm a farmers is not able to pay back the loan what happens the farmers generally migrate from the his village to the some city city to earn the money the women remain into the village and uh, all the all the harsh condition and the exploitative and the violence that is faced by the women at the house because who left the at the home the who have those who have the lended the money they will come to the house they will ask money from the home the women and women have to face all this thing if the man the male member has migrated so the women the female have to arrange all the livelihood for the 
children and the other family member so this condition this disproportionate condition of the such as the loan or the impact of the loan board and this also going to impact the women more as compared to the male so such type of the example that will help you fetching a very good marks so please focus on these area next important news that we are going to take is again from the editorial and then this is talking about the distinct right distinct right what is this distinct right this is talking about that recently we already have discussed that what is the climatic right we already have the right to the clean environment now under the mc mehta case 2024 recently five days back the the supreme court came up with the right against the impact of the climate change as well if you are impacted by the climate change and the effect of the climate change the government need to compensate this is the main thing core area okay so here this this main hearing was on the on the greater indian bush store the elimination of the the extinction extinction of the greater indian bush store this is the this is a very unique and this board is now critically in danger around 100 species 100 in the numbers can you understand in the one of the building you will count that 100 people live all on the earth only 100 indian bostor this great indian bostor are now survived and why they are dying they are dying due to the this high power transmission lines particularly those transmission line that is produced by the solar energy and these area of the rajasthan and the haryana western up where these boards are found they found across the other area as well even to the deccan area such as into the madhya pradesh maharashtra but the mostly these uh, these are into the rajasthan and the gujarat okay so their death is due to the transmission line so in the supreme court in the same case it's asked the, the this uh, energy power authority that please keep your transmission line underground so that they could they will not uh, collide because they are the largest board they have the a very high weight and uh, despite they fly okay so there is the more chances of a collision with the high power line and they die so supreme court said that please bring it under underground but the thing is that if you will bring the underground this is Uh, cost very high and not sustainable and if you are going to reduce the solar power production so it will increase the production by the crude oil and that is ultimately going again ha going to harm the environment so if you are giving one solution there will be the other harm you are not you are bringing the other negative impact on the environment you are you you want to bring the you want to prevent the death of this great indian bustard by any way you are going to impact the climate change as well because the more number of the crude oil production means more emission of the these gases of the greenhouse gases and other such emission in this such case it has mentioned that yes supreme court will give final order after observing that what is the number of the species already they have given the order for please count the number of the species what are the exact region and what solution can be provided so this is all about from the this news already we have discussed in a very detailed manner the next news we are going to cover is again from the this editorial and here again it is about the tuber clauses the control on the tuber clauses our aim is that we are going to eliminate this tuber clauses by the 2025 but the thing is that we are we do not have the sufficient medicine for the elimination or the treatment so before entering into the this overall art analysis you should know basics about the tuber clauses what is the bacteria that imp that is cause this tuberculosis this is the mycobacterium tuberculosis the name is the same mycobacterium tuberculosis and it's impact mostly the lung that doesn't mean that other part of the, your body will be not impacted yes it can in, infect the other part of your body as well but the mostly it impact the lung okay how it can spread it is it can spread by the contiguous it is uh, it if you are going to be very close to the those person who have the tv and they are coughing so there is chances that you will also get the 
this bacteria. If they are sneezing or talking, you should be at a distance. Even the droplet, if it will enter into your body, the bacteria will enter into the your body and you will be impacted by the tuberculosis. The most, most significant symptom, what is this? The consistent cough. If it is for the more than three weeks, so you should be you should be diagnosed. Uh, you should take a diagnosis of your sample, such as the, your sputum, your blood. Okay, all this thing is the uh, needed for the testing. Okay, and uh, there could be the chest pain as well. There is the weight loss. A lot of weight loss is there. Okay, and fatigue is there. You will be not feel the comfortable you will always feel that yes you are uh, you you don't have the energy you will feel the weakness okay what is this multi drug resistant tb means normally when tb occurred you are treated with the first line of the drug that is famous for the treating the tb such as the isoniazid and rifampicin so these are the drug that you are treated but the thing is that due to the persistent uh, persistent resistance from the bacteria bacteria evolve in a such a manner this type of the medicine that are not impactful they are not able to kill the bacteria in that case you will be treated with the second line of the drug so in that case if these these medicine are not impactful to eliminate or to treat the bacteria you will be called as the drug MDRTV, multi drug resistant, means your t bacteria, your TB bacteria is able to resist the first line of the drug, and there could be the mini drug that is not impactful. Okay, now we estimate that near about the one crore people they feel ill with the TB across the world, and uh, near about 16 lakh of the people they died due to the this. TV and this is the estimate from the WHO. Okay, so this is the case over the at the global level and always 430, 4 lakh 50 thousand people they are impacted by the this this case on a regular basis. Okay, what type of the diagnosis that is needed? A skin test. A sputum test, chest ray, ex, chest, chest X-ray to check the abnormalities in the lung. So all this thing that is used. Okay, treatment of the TV that need for the course of the treatment for the six month for the normal TV. But if you are impacted by the MDR multi drug resistant TV, the course goes to the 20 month or the more. This is the case you should remember. Here it is further talking about the overall plan of the government government previously it was the national tv control program government brought is the national tv elimination program so it want to eliminate the tv in by the 2025 but the thing is that the most important drug the treatment the medicine that is not available into the market and the government is not able to provide these important medicines such as the de la manid and other such treatment that is used by the doctors and for the cure of this tb the thing is that they now the government at the union level they are they are asking the local uh, uh, the, the government authority and the hospital to buy at the local level but the, as there is the lack of the medicine even at the local level or it will increase the cost so there is the chances that those patient from the poor background they will not able to afford by uh, to buy this drug even if you are providing on the free of the cost they are not able to sustain because they have to take a lot of effort they have to leave they have to take the leave from the, their work and go to the hospital and by that their livelihood is threatened for one day two days they they face the challenges and if you are not going to provide the this drug so it will be very difficult to achieve the target to eliminate the tb by the 2025 this is the main issue that has been the here highlighted by the this analysis next important news that we are going to take is this the corridor of kolkata bypass urban urbanism so here it is talking about that the urbanism that had been influenced by the three phases of our history modern history 
So this is same like that the all the cities in India is facing the situation. The first phase is talked about the colonialism that was before 1947. After that we impacted by the the green revolution and now we are impacted by the liberalization. After 1990s there was the economic liberalization and this have impacted the urban situation across the all the India and all these Indian cities they are facing the same type of the issue. For example, mostly we have seen that the water, sanitation, slums, poverty, uh, slums into uh, poverty into the slums, traffic and governance issue. These have been the consistently that is impacting the over all the scenario across the all the major metro countries. Mostly, even the small countries, you will see that there is the issue of the congestion. Every other city is ex ex with the few of the exceptions. If you will leave that the same was problem with the Kolkata, it, this, this article talking about the Kolkata. And the Kolkata now, there was a lot of congestion and in the context of that congestion and the issues, what was brought, the solution was brought to the Salt Lake City within the Calcutta. Further, they, they tried to create the bypass and different bridges across the, around the city to resolve this. Okay, so this resolved this, uh, resolve the congestion issue, but the thing is that a new type of the issue that has been created into the, these cities. And these are the cities that the, there is the class segregation into the bypass road that has been built into the, this Kolkata that developed the high-rise building and the, the very luxury malls and the seven star hotels all that represent a high class society and that has created the same type the urban outcast and this has become very famous under the sociologist Louis Vacant. Okay, so you should remember that this urban outcast and this phenomena now you can find in the major cities like the Guru, uh, Guru Grama, Noida, Greater Noida, now at least uh, this uh, as well into the Kolkata and Bangalore. So now we have seen that to resolve one issue you are facing, we are facing the other new development and that issue. So this article is talking about all these things that what are the issues that now the new urban area is facing and uh, what could be the possible solution. Again, the possible solution is the inclusive development and inclusiveness that should be the government approach and planning in a such a manner that uh, there should be the development instead of the reducing the facility and amenities of this high class urban area, you should provide the, you should focus on the slum area, that should be the solution, improvement of the slum area. You should provide the, at least the minimum li livelihood, minimum income for those people and that's why at least there could be the sustainability and balance that can be developed. So this is all about from the, this news article. So let's solve some of the questions from the topic we have covered. So let's start with the first question. So the first question that is the from the topic we have done the United Nations Development Program. Consider following statement about the United Nations Development Program. It is led. It is the lead UN agency focus exclusively on the climate action and environmental protection. Second. It partners with the government, civil society and private sector on the development initiative. Which of the above statement is are correct? One only, two only, both one and two, neither one nor two. So first is talking about it is the lead UN agency. So exclusively, here think that exclusively. So here it is not exclusively for the climate action because already we have UNFCC, United Nations Environmental Program, UNEP. So they are the lead agency for the climate action and the environment protection. This UN development program, that it's work in a lot of area like the it's work for the development, uh, development of the uh, different marginalized uh, section. It's also bring the uh, initiative to reduce the inequality. A lot of area it's work. So here it is not exclusively for the climate change, so it is incorrect. It's do work for the climate action, but not exclusively. Okay, it's partnered with the government, civil society, and private sector on the development initiative. So this is correct. So the correct answer for this question will be two only B. 
which of the following is a key focus area for the United Nations Development Program? Promoting disarmament and nuclear non-proliferation. Second, eradicating poverty and reducing inequality. Third, facilitating international trade negotiation. Select the answer using the code given below. A, a one only, two only, three only, one and three. So we will see that promoting disarmament, already there is the commission for the disarmament. So one is not correct. Eradicating poverty and reduction. Yes, already we saw that it's work into the area of the eradication of the poverty and the reducing inequality. Already we saw the article that was in on the inequality and gender impact. Okay. Third, facilitating international trade negotiation. Again, this is area of the W2, not of it. So only two B will be the correct answer. Question number three, Gudi Padwa celebrate as traditional New Year festival is primarily associated with which of the following Indian state? Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, West Bengal, Gujarat. So we see that it is from the Maharashtra, not the Tamil Nadu, not the West Bengal, not the Gujarat. So correct answer will be Maharashtra. And already we saw that we have studied that how it is celebrated in some pocket area of the Andhra and also Goa and Karnataka. Not Andhra, Goa and Karnataka. Okay. Question number four, which of the following statement about the Higgs boson is correct? It is a type of electromagnetic radiation. It gives mass to the fundamental particle. It is responsible for the strong nuclear force. It travels faster than the speed of light. So here we will see that it is a type of electromagnetic radiation. No, it doesn't. It is not a type of electromagnetic radiation, but it has its own filled and that gives the mass to the particle so it will be b it gives the mass to the fundamental particle due to the uh, due to the interaction with, with the this higgs boson and the field generated by it okay it is responsible for the strong nuclear force no it is the glucon and not this uh, uh, there is the uh, this uh, nuclear force itself is uh, one of uh, one type of the fundamental force okay it travel faster than speed we know that the boson has the mass it cannot move or the travel faster than the speed of light speed of the light is the highest there is nothing that can move faster than the speed of the light so this is not correct question five consider following statement about the ugari it marks the beginning of the chatra month according to the hindu calendar ugari pan Chadi is a special dish prepared during the celebration symbolized different flavor of the life. Which of the above is, is are correct? One only, two only, both one and two, neither one nor two. So we see that it's marked the beginning of the Chatta month and it is the it is the Luni Solar mission. Uh, uh, it is based on the Luni Solar revolution period. So it based on the period completed by the moon as well as the sun. This is the mix of this and it start in, into the Chathraman, that is the between the March and April, that is going on. So, okay, so this is correct. Ugadi Panchadi, this Panchadi is a special dish. We saw that there is the six type of the flavor under this. It include all type of the, uh, all type of the flavor, like the sweet, sour, salt, everything. So, second is also correct. So, C will be the correct answer. Last question, Ugadi celebration, say your similarity, with which of the following festival? Cheti Chad, Chhat Puja, Onam, Bihu. So you will find that it has the similarity with the Cheti Chad, not with the Chhat Puja. This is celebrated into the UP and Bihar. Eastern UP and Bihar, this is with respect to the initiation, starting of the winter season. Next, it is the Onam. This is just harvesting festival in Kerala. And so this is also not correct. We who this is belonging from the ashram again associated with the farming. So all these are not correct. Only A is the correct answer. So these are all the questions, and already we have covered the needed topic from our today's newspaper. So here we will conclude our session. Thank you for joining the session. All the best, Jai Hind.